Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Yes, it's been a while since I've seen your lovely faces in a normal video like this, but we have been taking a break trying to figure out certain things of what we're going to be doing with the channel, which we are going to be mostly trying to go towards live streaming, but I will be bringing you videos like this, hopefully daily moving forward. Today's video though, we are going to be talking about the box office disappointment, that is Aquaman 2. It's interesting to see because you've got a lot of places, Deadline, Variety, all these places going on. <gasps> Aquaman 2 has just passed an important milestone. Yes, it's done an amazing thing. And I'm here to tell you that it's not amazing. It's not great. It's actually a downright travesty. So Aquaman 2 box office disappointment continues. Shocking trend. They want to just put it in that is the DCEU, just DC movies in general. But recently, over the last six months, Marvel has just gone down as well. It's superhero fatigue. It really is. But if the story is good enough by like Guardians of the Galaxy 3, it will bring in the people. It will make the money. If you're hoping just for the weekend, you know, the opening weekend to do good. Oh, yeah, that's what we needed. That'll be great. No, that to me is just how these kind of companies now especially Warner Brothers with DC, because Peter Safran, the guy who produced this, the one who did all the uh, stuff behind the scenes for it, is the one who said, we don't listen to movie fans. We don't listen to the internet. We don't give in to people. Well, mate, if you actually gave in to those people and got rid of a certain someone, you would have made a between, I'd probably say 10 to $20 million more than where it's currently sitting at. And the issue with this is a lot of people would be like, well, it's made this amount of money. Sorry, I'm here to tell you that the money it's currently made is absolutely just shocking. As it goes on, obviously, it does go on to say that the first film was uh, released in 2018 and it made over a billion dollars. A billion, that is now. A billion with a B, not million with an M, but billion dollars, which... Back then, 2018, that was the year for the majority of huge superhero films where a lot of money was made. And it goes on to say regarding, obviously, how this one and the rest of the DC uh, movies have come out. 15 of them, which I didn't even think there was that many. Of those 15, four were produced as direct sequels. And each one made less money than its predecessor. Now, with that, though, you can put down... To be a bug because 2020, 2021, there won a lot of people going to the cinema. I was going as soon as they opened back up. I was there. I loved it because no one could sit either side of you. And I like just to just relax and not be cooped up like this sometimes in a seat. I like to have a bit of room, you know, off the arms on the, uh, the armrests and stuff. And that's how it went. But it does go to show, obviously, the first Suicide Squad in 2016 made nearly 800 million. And remember now, Suicide Squad is an Oscar-winning movie. The sequel came out in 2021, literally right after the theaters like, oh yeah, you can come back in, but they put every single film online for everyone. You know, it was ridiculous. 167 million that made. The first Wonder Woman, 2017, nearly 900 million. Wonder Woman 84, the sequel in 2020, 166. As you can see, the first Aquaman 2018, 1.1 billion. And this one now has made 338 million, which is, this is the number I want people to focus on, okay? So, 338 million. You've got, uh, where is it by here now? So this is coming from comicbook.com. Aquaman Lost Kingdom claims two major box of his milestones. According to Deadline, Aquaman Lost Kingdom has officially surpassed 100 million at the domestic box office. In addition to hitting this milestone after its third weekend. So it's been out for three whole weeks. The DC movie has also surpassed 300 million worldwide. Again, why I'm here that this is not a major milestone because, as you can see right by here, when the first film was released, it made 105 million million dollars in five days five days not three weeks five days you know 
and you when they're going on. Like, oh, it's cost $300 million worldwide. Remember now, this is just domestic. So this is just North America. In 30 days, it crossed $300 million in America alone. You know, it's absolutely insane. And if we go to, um, where we should go domestic and we'll do all territories. So, you know, opening weekend was 67 in America. America alone was 335. But then when you look at all the overseas, it was just ridiculous. Hell, look at China. In China alone, it made nearly 300 million, you know? But then you got the, you know, these websites by here, the ones who are saying, oh my God, it's amazing, amazing milestone, this, that, and the other. No, it's done absolutely terrible. And another thing with this, Hollywood accounting. By here now, we are going to be taking a look at the budget of Aquaman 2 and how making 338 million, which is $115 million more than the actual budget, where people are like, it's made its budget back, it's won, it's way made it, it's a success. No, it's not. It hasn't even broke even. At this moment in time, if it makes less than $430 million, that's bottom end now, it is a box office disaster. With Avatar, the way of water, this says it as it's about to break even as the worldwide box office total reached 1.3 billion. But the thing is, though, with Avatar, the way of water, it did cost about $460 million to make, which is an insane amount of money. But James Cameron has come out and said the technology we use on this film will go forward and drive the movie industry for the next decade, which it will. The next one, Avatar 3, I think it's like $210 million, $220 million for the budget. As you can see, it's already come down by $200 million because they've got all the stuff ready to go. But a general rule of thumb, for a movie's break-even point, is two to three times its production budget. That's to account for the cost of marketing and distribution. So obviously, when you think of it like that, if you do the top end of Aquaman, which, you know, say the three years, you got to do it three times the amount of the budget. The top end of the box office should be 645 million because it's $215 million budget for Aquaman 2. 645 million to break even. Now, if you want to do it on the lower end, which they're saying is, oh, you only need to make twice the uh, budget and that's good. Okay, then. You need to make $430 million. Remember now, this is a film that hasn't even crossed $350 million yet. It needs to make another $100 million just to be safely saying, oh, well, it's, uh, it's broken even. It's made its money back, which technically it did. But if you want to actually look into the facts of this, it's actually a box office disaster because out of the 338 million that is currently made, 50% of that goes to all the theaters. That's what happens. So straight away, they haven't even made their money back. Literally, 338, you cut that down, you've literally got like 170 odd million dollars just going back to Warner Brothers DC at this moment in time. They need to make a little bit more to be able to go, oh, yes, we broke even, we're fine. Yeah, it hasn't. You know, so it's even really just to see how this has gone. And people are going on like, you know, like these ones here. Oh, it's an important milestone. Yeah, it made your box office. Yay. No, it's a failure of a film, plain and simple. I got films that I champion that literally, they failed miserably at the box office, and I will say that they failed. But people who are supporting this film, well, no, it's made its budget back. Yeah, doesn't mean that it's a uh, financial success. It's not. It's a failure. It's a box office bomb. It's a dud. And it's kind of sad a little bit as well, because obviously, when you make these type of films where the budget is 200 million, and they go, oh, we want to make, we have to make at least a billion for it, to, for it to be profitable. No, you don't. Where are the days when literally a film could come out, 
make 400, 500 million dollars, even when the film cost 100 million to make as well. And it's like, that was a good film, it's a box of a success. You don't get that anymore. Hell, when you add Batman v Superman, which I think, how much did that one make? So here we go, this is Batman v Superman, as you can see. It was 250 to 325 million dollars. The box office was 874 million dollars. That was classed as a box office bomb. 873 million dollars is a bomb. That is just ridiculous when you think about it. And if you look at it and go, oh, well, 250 million dollars. Well, okay, then if you want to do the rule of three for that one at the bottom end, which is how people do it, like, oh, no, it made money. Okay, then. So it needed to make 600, oh, sorry, 700 and... Uh, 50 million dollars to break even. Okay, 873 million. That should be classed as a box of a success, but it's not. You see, this is the problem with a lot of people when they look at films and go, well, it made its budget back, so it's successful. No, that's not how things work. And those kind of people who look at it and go, oh, well, that's easy. It made its budget back or three times its budget, and that's a box of a success. No, it's not. Because half of it goes to the theaters. That's what it does. And again, I think that's kind of sad because these movie companies, they don't put the money in it just to make a film and go out. This is why you get really, really bad films out in the theatres. Perfect example, I recently just went and saw that film Night Swim. One of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. I was about to walk out of it, me and my friends were, and literally we had like 10 minutes left of the film. And we we're like, yeah, let's just go. And we did. You know, it's absolutely terrible how bad that film was. And that film, I believe, was made for like 15 to 20 million. Yeah, as you can see right by here, it cost 15 million dollars to make. And it's made 19.6 million. It made 19 million on a 15 million dollar budget. Again, the smaller ones, when you do have a horror film like that, they will make us money. Even if it's terrible. You know, but that's what we got, ladies and gents. Let me know what you think about this down below. You know, it's what films do you love that were a box office bomb? For me, it was Judge Dredd. Absolutely love Judge Dredd, the original and the, and the actual remake. And the remake was absolutely spectacular. It was made for 60 million. Sadly, it only made, I think, like 100 million in total, the cinemas and home video. And they were like, yeah, we're not making anything because it was a bomb. Even though it made its budget back. You know, that's why it is. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.